Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Bragg from Braggio. Hello. And Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. How is our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Let's start with you, Ben. I won this. You did? Yeah. And where'd you get it from? Uh, one of the locals. The what from? How the, did you win this? The winner mat. For? This. Just say what I want you to say, I, you fucking monkey. I don't know where I'm actually being led. Oh, the Rarity Collection. The Rarity Collection I was like, release event, two weeks after. Yeah, that's why I was like, you want me to you want me to be like, oh, it was the release event. No, it wasn't. But I won the mat. Um, I was happy. It's a nice mat. It is a nice mat. I like this mat. It's got zones on it, too. The resolution on it is actually it's, much better than a lot of their other ones. So I think this is a custom done art, because like none of this exterior exists. So well, I it's think in the reference is, art, though. It is in the reference art. Yes, but that's not It's also the in the framed art that you can purchase. I thought the reference art was like a full blown up. Like, there exists a full... Yeah, I've seen this image multiple times. Yeah, exactly. But with the colouring? Yeah. They didn't just yeah. rip the card and put it on the thing. That's what I'm getting at. Um, so yeah, I Four won this. Day. Um, it was a fairly short locals. It um, was. Yeah. Which I might leave it was yeah, a few short locals. It just kind of existed. And then we have this. Um, on Tuesday I decided to mess around and played like some like random mix throw together horror shenanigans and bricked mercilessly like all day. But I was like, uh ah, let's we've got this. We got OTS champs to kick back in again next weekend, so I was like, oh, I wanted to have fun for locals. Uh, it wasn't fun because I bricked. <laughs> it would have been fun if Losing I didn't brick. Losing doesn't suck. No, I wouldn't care if I lost. Just if I got to play. Nah, playing's for losers. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah it really fun. is. Like, I would have had the same amount of fun if I had just played Ghost Tricks. No, I don't would know you? about that. I don't, I don't know about that book. <laughs> it is the season. I've got to play Ghost Tricks for Halloween. Well, this came two weeks later. I can do Halloween next two weeks later. You yeah. judging me? I mean, always. Less than two weeks later. I mean, you're getting there. You can, I mean, you can't play Ghost Tricks next week. No, I can't play Ghost Tricks next week. I can't on oh, Tuesday because no. it's two weeks later. Yeah. But I can't play it on Wednesday because it's not two weeks later. Do I have Ghost Tricks here? I know we have a Are bunch of it in the Syndicate book. <laughs> Did you play any Ghost Trick deck lists? No, I didn't play any Master Duel. Uh, every time I went to play Master Duel, I was like, I don't have a reason to anymore. Ah, well, we'll get into that in a minute. Brag. Oh, I know. I'll get into that rant when talking about Master Duel. Go. Oh, so all I did was this week was Master Duel. Okay. I don't, I don't well, remember. No, you anything. didn't. You did go to one of these events yesterday. What? What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, he didn't. I forgot. Uh, that was the other brag. I wonder why he's ignoring that event. Just perhaps traumatic reasons. Oh, just drawing Mali and um, Shayama. Four games. Like I didn't brick on Tuesday. I brick on Saturday. Yeah. How it goes. And I probably should build for that. There's, and, yeah, I had fun at moments. It was also hot. So, I mean, I was just running hot. Logan bought his dog, though, so it was great. Well, not, his sister's his dog. dog. Yeah, his sister's dog. No, it becomes a family dog. It's true. It is a family, yeah. I didn't think his sister lives with him anymore. Yeah, but, like, it's in the... I mean, if, One of them does. If he's fucking driving it's around with him bringing the tournaments, it's his dog. Anyway. Family things. Yeah, it's the family dog. And if he brings it while I'm in presence, it'll then be my dog because I will take it. It's a pretty good dog. It's so much better than my dog. <laughs> can't like, have dogs in the apartment. Oh, I mean, kind of. I, mean, my I dog can't steal apartment. animals either. I can, I'll find a way. <laughs> it'll work. Yeah. We need a podcast dog. We yeah, do. pod we dog. Need, pod we, dog. Yeah. Put a little bed just here. How small a dog do you want? Um, a small to medium sized dog can fit on a bed in the middle of the table I don't want small to medium sized dog oh, you want a dog Jake good. size I want a dog big <laughs> so Jake size sure what was the thing uh, and then I play a bunch of Master Jewel I'm just trying to get the I've had a whole uh, three months these passes go for two months two, two minutes yeah and yeah I'm always leaving the last minute and here I am just the same match over and over but what are you doing yeah, like now that I've completed that, now I'm like, I don't, I don't want to play no more. Uh, your rant about bricking in Kashira six months ago. Yep. It's like it bring like every every two games a month. Like, mm, yes. Ah, yes. Uh, yes. Nothing. Okay. Cool. Next yep. game. Every so often, Kashira just just goes. No, no. Right. Maxi Shifter and um, 
Ash, That's how's awesome. it? We, we cut the shifters. Yeah, I cut the like, shifter. This cut bad. No, nah, the shifter's good going it's first. Good. Again. Yeah, there's Your definitely times... just past her. Yeah. There's... The issue is, you often just don't have anything. Yeah, like, it's won some games, it's lost some games. I've got to make up the call of when I cut it. And it probably should be soon. Well, like, you could unbrick it to an extent if you played, like, those garbage level 7 cards that people were doing for a while. Yep. But it's just not worth. It's so bad. I have nearly considered it, but I haven't done that yet. Hear me out. I just had an idea for a really shit card. Mm -hmm. A field spell that increases your monsters, your opponent's monsters, by 1100 attack. Why 1100? Because then they can't normal summon anything and go into armor rush. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, that's what? the only purpose for this field spell. But why are you trying to stop people using armor rush? Because my brain, for some reason, went with, like, in cast here, is there a way to, like, normal summon, regular rise heart? Under shifter, you vanish, then you link one and put it in your bin, and then you can somehow miraculously shenanigans away the two to come back. And I don't know, I was just running and the monkey in my head was going. Is there a link monster that unicorn can go into? No, mate. No. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm, unicorn. Uh, and unicorn. also, no, they banned. Not a, not a link one. Yeah. One day, one day we'll get there. But I mean, until then... There's a link one that um, I think Scareclaw Cashier can go into. Mm, but I that think. also... But Scareclaw Cashier does not search Cashier Birth. So I'm neither here nor there. We'll get there. We'll get there. Ah, uh, yeah. So very eh week. Still playing tier. Well, what do you do? What about you? Uh, my week was all right. Um, so, yeah. Played on Tuesday. Tuesday didn't have that many people either. Um, I can't remember what deck I versed first maybe it was andrew i can't remember exactly i remember versing andrew that night but i don't remember the like how many rounds we had and who Is he playing longer? yes um so uh the funniest thing that happened to me all week was in my game with him so he goes first sets up the um field spell the trap the continuous spell and has everything ready to like start disrupting and whatnot mm -hmm. um so i set a card and then um Oh, how did I do this? I th I'm trying to remember how I did things, but basically I did things in such a way that it baited out that he'd have to play... Summon a pen. Oh, I remember what it was now. So I normal summon tour guide, which triggered the field spell, and he, rather than just summoning the two birds and then tributing the stuff, he kind of went a bit overboard and summoned the Apex Avian by summoning five. So summon four little birds and then summon Apex. Then I was like, okay, cool. Uh, triple tactics, take the avian. He's like, oh, well, have to negate avian effect. And I was like, chain to Biru. So then all birdies go to bin, the apex doesn't trigger. Uh, tactics resolves, I take the token, boom, boom. So you lost or you won? I won. Okay. So how do you, how do you lose to birds? Well, how do you, no, how do you beat birds? Birds, is, that, is, birds is actually surprisingly easy. Huh. Um, if so you, like you know can't that link you're... them away and you can't exes into them. Correct. So once you know that you're versing birds, which is the tricky bit, but because it's locals, you know who you're versing. You make the big DDD? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You okay. make Deus Ex okay. and you just keep taking their birds so that they can't tribute anything. Yeah, I, that makes sense. You just take the first bird, you take the second bird. Yeah, the fact that it's not once per turn is busted. Yeah. And, like, if I were playing the contract as well, it would just be so free. Yeah. But I'm currently not playing contracts. He's going to play the contract. No, I'm not. Okay. I He's actually... I, I hate that fucking engine. Because if you open the fucking link and no contract, it's dead. None of it does anything. So, speaking of Andrew, I switched Dweller to the side and put Baguska in the main. For that purpose? Yeah. Yep. And then, after the... After the Digimon? Digimon pre-release? Man, it's just left! Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh. No interest. I'm like, I mean, <laughs> of the 79 cards, there's like maybe one in there that he had any interest in, and he already ordered it, so he does well, not I thought care. you wanted the mat, or you want to play, thought you wanted to get amongst it, and I'm like, oh, great, I've got this Baguska here for no real reason. Other than turning off your own fusions. Yeah. Oh. You don't know? Tyrolimus isn't a fusion deck anymore. <laughs> You just do a bunch of links and Xyz and shit. It's SP Turbo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Like, <laughs> the fusions actually don't matter in that deck anymore. It's so sad. Not even making Pritter plants. Well, no. yeah, like I used it, like I made it once, and it was actually bad. I'm, I'm gonna cut it. I think. Like well, everyone reps it, but it's I'm really just... good against Thwanderies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You go target, and they go oh. Yeah, but you need to make the first. You need to get the fusion ready, and you don't have kit anymore just to run around doing nothing. Gawuwa. Do you not just play the four fusion? No, then you need two of the. Then you need like it's just there. Garura, Halk. Oh uh, no, you, you, Halk. You, you, just, you make mud dragon. Yeah, mud dragon you for mud your dragon Bahamut and... shark. Detach it. Make your toe. Uh, the mud, put in the, well, bin. the Yeah, the mud. Yeah. So, but that needle needs to go off. The bird stopped that. I uh, just go first. Yeah, just win the die roll. That's Fuck. what I've been doing wrong. Yeah. Wins the die roll. Gets shifted anyway. <laughs> Um, and then on Tuesday in the finals, I versed Leo, bricked again. Um, I just always seem to brick in the finals. Like, I just open fucking Fiendish Rhino and maybe an Imperm. And that's my lot. That's all I get. Maybe you should play bad cards to compensate for that. I hear it. I'm playing plenty of bad cards, okay? I don't need to put any more in. Hand destruction. That's such a Lachlan mentality. Like, I open the Garnet and you're like, I'll just play multiple Garnet. <laughs> <laughs> I open the rescue ace traps and I don't seem to have any problem. Except yeah, because your deck does stuff without that. That's the end part of your combo. That's the bit that you want to get to. I didn't have the start of a combo. Alan. In and in, in the playoff for the playmat between Kurt and Luke. Kurt's card destruction is Luke. God hand. I'm like, oh god, that's a real good card destruction. Luke discards, draws, another god hand. I'm like, no. Sometimes you just get to. And Kirch has, Kirch has negged one for... I mean, I don't think he resolved anything off it. Even if he did, it doesn't plus. So, yeah, I'm like, oh, that feels so bad. Card destruction, maybe bad. Maybe. Put it to three. Let's find out. Um, oh, I don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then today for the rarity thing, um, I lost to Cash in the first round. So, like, I was already out of contention for this. I just kind of forgot that um, Scareclosh... Cash Tira had a thing that it does. The gates, yeah. 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 So he's like, oh yeah, declare an attack into an XE. I'm like, my Zeus has 3k. Why are you doing that? He's like, okay, now it's effects are off of the tail. I was like, oh. Yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, that happens. Yeah. I mean, it didn't end up mattering a great deal. Like, all of my good shit got banished off of the Arise effect to banish and banish top three. So, it's like a heap of my good garnets and shit were gone. It came up on Marstool the other day uh, when I was playing against Cash. And then they like they did the whole summon scare claw into because I was playing pearly mm -hmm. into the noir and he's like oh yeah he baited like two already so I was like my next spin I'm unaffected and I think I was already could be affected but I had like ruined his board enough that he could like just kind of shit out barely anything and like he summons the scare claw cash goes battle phase and I'm like start a battle phase put the scare claw cash back and then he is scooped and I was like yeah cool thought so awesome 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 do be like that I start another spin left after that. Uh, and then the, the, in the second of the two rounds today, because we didn't have that many people turn up for this uh, two-week like pre-release. To be fair, the, uh, the wins and losses were kind of perfectly timed for it to not really extend out the locals as well. Yeah, that's true. Um, so yeah, versus uh, Infernoble in the second round. Uh, game one, um, I won, but I can't remember how. Oh, I almost had game through uh prosp if i'd remembered what my deck does uh which is to say not only does it destroy things but on occasion it recurs that destroy things i forgot to use the link in the graveyard that's why i didn't get ah. game in that onslaught with all of his half damage he was like ha ah, three yeah, 15 ha ah, three 15 ah, three. i knew it was half I damage know, I, I was I, saying the correct was, amount of I damage you you're were. making me out to be a fucking moron I and i can do that on my own i was saying you i had don't a need your help board. And your huge board all had lots of attack, and they were all like, oh, nothing, 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 nothing. But that's the thing, if I just remembered the Link in Grave, no, I, actually, I would have had game. You played more pro strat like me. Uh, if you just put him below 12 and then you can't activate your field spell. There is that. Because that works. <laughs> and then in game two, um, he goes for a connector into Dolphin, and then Dolphin discard Diddy Crow to have a look at my hand. Which was uh, Nibiru, an Imper, a Fiendish Rhino, uh, the Shavara, 
and uh, a kaiju. So none of them within the attack range to get discarded. So he takes 500 and also sees that there's no way of him playing through my hand. <laughs> In that situation, is the thought to Nibiru him and then kaiju the Nibiru? So that the Nibiru can attack over the token? Well, that's the thing. I had the just the right combination of cards. Like, I can't even remember what the top deck was, but I had the, just the right combination of cards that, like, the kaiju was just there if he happened to have follow-up after I nibiru Yeah. So I just let him play it out. He summoned the apple loser, but even then, like, we both knew where things were going. Like, he very well could have just scooped there and we would have left half an hour earlier. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Um, the and then Master Duel stuff. Yep. Um, so... Actually, I'll get into that when we talk about um, General Master Duel. I so, also have some Master Duel stuff to talk about in General Master Duel. Well, did you want to start with yours, or do you want to talk about the stuff that's happened and then have your rant? Uh, I think my rant's going to be something that has something to do with something that's happened, which is the release of uh, the, the deck. The, the, <coughs> the Vanquish Soul deck. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, I, Vanquish Soul. I have not even seen it. Yes, so, so in I've played it multiple the most times. recent uh, set, the Vanquish Soul the uh, Ritual uh, Dinner Menu deck and what was the other one that came out in that time frame? No, it doesn't matter. Well, it matters a little bit. No, it doesn't because Konami has shown that they really, really like Vanquish Soul and really want you to spend money on it still. Hold up, I can figure it out. Maybe. Or maybe they didn't release the third archetype. That was like extra links and shit. Yeah, yeah, they released all of the um, Firewall Cyber support as well. Yeah, see, that's a whole so thing. So MathMech is at full power. Um, so, Vanquish Soul. Yeah. So, Kashtira had to wait three months to get its whole deck. <laughs> yep. Uh, Rescue Ace is going to have to wait three months to get its whole deck. Uh-huh. Uh, they released Vanquish Soul with the new Vanquish Soul card in there. Did they? Yep. Oh, they, they have, did. They have and both. the new trap. Yep. They just gave Vanquish Soul with all the new stuff already. In fairness, and you spoke about this when we were here on Friday and I was watching the Master Duel replays to see what it was like. The deck's not good. Yes. But neither is Kashtira. Oh, neither, well, neither is Kashtira without its other stuff. But also, neither is Rescue Ace without its new stuff. Yeah, but the, the difference is Rescue Ace is meta. This is meta. No, this... Is this not them trying to give it a chance? I think this is them trying to give it a go. Yeah. But realistically... <laughs> This deck is so purely predicated. Expensive. Well, yeah, it's like very much uh, like the translation of TCG into Master Duel in that all the good cards are ultras. Oops, but sorry. also, the deck is entirely predicated on Tikaboo. Yes. And you don't have three prosp and shit to search it in Master Duel. So you just have to hope you open it. That deck some does somehow randomly draw, though. Because I one of their link of, uh, one of their monsters is like reveal X amount of attributes in hand to draw. Yeah, I, I ran into the issue of I baited their ash on the previous turn. I had talents to look at their hand, and I knew what they had drawn, or they had played the card they drew for turn. So I like had tuned out. So I was like, oh yeah, cool, no problem, easy win, easy win, easy win. Activate, get ashed, and I'm like, you didn't have that. <laughs> Wait a minute, where'd you get that? <laughs> So. Also, I don't know what the thing is in Master Duel. The amount of times that either I've tactics ripped someone or someone has tactics ripped me and then my draw for turn is the card that they ripped out of my hand. Yeah, that happens almost exclusively. Yeah. I, I think it's just not very well coded. Yeah, there's something wrong there. Because that's what I But did. also, like, more often than not, because, like, I'd say 99 times over 100, people are ripping the good card out of your hand and then drawing it for turn. No one's going to bring up that coding error. No. So we're going to cut this out. This will never be seen. <laughs> um, so. so, always take or draw, basically. Yeah, look, most of the time, especially now at the moment, because it is so prevalent, um, I'm tacticsing because someone has drolled me, so then I have to rip because it's my first turn. Uh, so I'd gotten hit with like a third hand trap. So I was like, look at the hand, they had droll ash, and I was like, well, get rid of the ash. I'll play around the draw, and then they just drew the ash again. And I was like, hmm. awesome. Um, but yeah, as we as we mentioned, uh, so Vanquish Soul, the Cyber stuff, and uh, the uh, Evil Dinner uh, archetype have all been released in the newest uh, selection pack. Is Evil Singularity Dinner a Halloween archetype? Not really. 
like it's spooky, but I wouldn't say it's Halloween spooky. Because it's more about demons cooking dinner. Next Halloween, we should do a thing where you have to build a spooky deck. Yeah, I agree. I have said this a couple of times. Also, wait, how long was Tuesday this year, wasn't it? Yeah, so it'll be Wednesday next year. We had... We had a perfect opportunity. Yeah. And we didn't do anything. Well, actually, no, you didn't do anything. I didn't go. (laughs) Yeah, so you didn't do anything... Oh, like my deck's pretty period. spooky. It involves the graveyard. Bricking's pretty spooky. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fish women. Super spooky. You find something else scarier. Uh, my the... two fears combined. <laughs> um, we've also got the next event having been announced, the ritual event, uh, starting November 13th. Um, so the rewards in this one, as per usual, you get a bunch of um, gems and legacy packs the further you go up. What's, what's the cap on the gems for these events usually? Um, it's usually about 35 for yeah. just the event though yeah, like yeah. then you've got the daily tasks and stuff that you can hit to get more yeah. um, the asset to um, hit I think at 5500 from what I can read here is a contract with the Abyss Field Bitty thing how it's got like the ritual flames kind of like oh, advanced ritual art that's looks, cool it looks alright yeah um, and the usual um, sort of name tag for your player card if you get to the top so what's the mate uh, there is no mate. No mate. No mate to own this one. Just the um, little side thingy. Um, the one thing I did notice, because I was like, oh yeah, I can just um, play... Uh... Ghost Tricks? No. I don't want Ghost Tricks in my head tonight, but... Yeah, you're you really stuck on Ghost Tricks. Because uh, they're not a ritual archetype. Um, so the only X-E's. extra deck cards that allow is... Levels. Um, a bunch of ones that are like core to uh, ritual archetypes. For instance, uh, Millennium Eyes Restrict and Thousand Eyes Restrict. Yes. They're I was going to yeah. They're cool. allowed. Sweet. Um, Synchro monsters are banned except for Herald of the Arclight. Uh, all Xyz monsters except for Drytron, Mubeta, Fafni. And all Link monsters except for Avendred Link, Cross Sheep, Cyber Switch, Dynamondo, Herald of Mil- Mirage Light, Link Mail, Archfiend, Nephthys, the Sacred Flame, and Nephthys, the Sacred Preserver. Yeah. Are they... Have they been Makanko? Or is this just kind of you, Makanko? No, this, this is them peddling Makanko, isn't it? It feels True. like it, yeah. Um, but I very much Akaiju's appreciate... Kaiju's banned. <laughs> uh, I just went through the entire main deck and none of them are banned. Fuck! <laughs> oh, hang on. Limited. Arabesque. Okay. Yeah. But they still can just kind of... Yeah, so they want them to do the ritual stuff, not the controlly. Not the OTK. Yeah. I Which... mean, they will still try. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, I don't think you even have a ritual spell. It's yeah. the field it's the... spell, isn't it? But then you've got the quick play that cheats them out. No, 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 so no, they no, just cheat the... them out. No, no, they have, a, they have a field spell. They have a ritual spell as well. It just sucks. <laughs> okay. Uh, so the loner decks that they're giving away for this are a Blue Eyes Chaos Max uh, <laughs> build, obviously. Uh, Best they've, deck. They've got uh, the Libramancers. Remember back when Yu-Gi-Oh was slow enough for bad players to oh, at least Libra think Man. Chaos Max was great? Oh yeah. Now the game's so fast that those players don't exist. Yeah. And I thank him for it. Uh, so yeah, Libramancers being the second, and then the new... Um, Novelles, the um, oh. Evil Dinner archetype being the third. Obviously to promote the pack that no one's buying for these cards. They are buying it for Vanquish Soul. Which is bad. I'm so keen. Because I like, I think I might have mentioned this a couple episodes ago where I built the... I've just done tier shit with the Thousand Eyes stuff. Because I'm like, hey, my favourite stuff still works with it. I've got the Millers are in this. No, the Millers aren't in this, so it's fine. And then I'm like, oh wait, Arise Heart can't play around a rise hub but this we're back true we're i mean it doesn't business. stop people just playing like dimensional barrier and i mean not dimensional barrier the other one fissure dimensional fissure because i imagine like a lot of the other floodgatey skip tourney cards in this that that will be banned because i know archel christie is banned because that's just sort of free for a lot of ritual stuff yeah that's a ritual card archel christie huh? yeah it says fairy it does but they're not directly related Herald of the something? I mean, in fairness, that covers about 90% of the archetype. Um, 
also in Master at all the moment, um, which you may not have noticed, we have uh, the dual proficiency tests. I did notice because it said I got my questions right, and I was like, I had questions. Wait, what? You would have known you did questions. No, like I I did a match. And then at the end of the match, it was like, you completed this question. And I was like... Oh, no, it's like... What? Okay, so let me explain. So there's 10 levels in total. There is a practical part of the exam on each level and a theory part. So you've completed the practical part in that you have participated in a duel for level one. So congratulations. I, d I don't want to do it then. <laughs> oh, there's so much more to it. It gets so much worse. I doubt you're... How many gems do I get from this? Oh, that's the great part. You get none. Oh, yeah, cool. Because I've just been avoiding someone. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's no gems. I'm, yeah, I'm, so, like, I'm like, there's no gems, I don't think I'm so going to do So for this. the rest of you, uh, so you can have a more holistic idea of what it is, so there's 10 levels, like I said, there's a practical and a theory part to each one. Uh, so you enter a bunch of questions and you get X amount right. Mm -hmm. uh, the question starts super simple. It's like it gives you the art of Dark Magician and says, who is this card? Red eyes, black dragon. That could, that could be anybody. Uh, and then it gets se severely more complicated. Uh, it does punish you if you haven't played the solo modes because so what? many of them are like in the solo mode. Drytron something something does this, and it's just like, fuck, I don't remember this. What um, yeah, what I was going to acknowledge uh, Arcane and Dark Magician is the true Dark Magician. Huh? What if you only acknowledge Arcane and Dark Magician is the true Dark Magician? And hope you don't get that question. Well, you can't though. We don't even know where the, that Dark Magician comes from, do we? No. Hmm. Although, um, I don't know, he wasn't employed by Pegasus, was he? No, that's the other guy. Anyway, off track. Um, so, 10 levels in total. Um, you go up and there's different things you need to tick on each. Um, in terms of assets, at level 8, I think it is, or level... Yeah, once you pass level 8, you get a bicycle mate, which is so shit. Uh, and then at level 10, you get a little name thingy on your thing. Um, is it bicycle? No, no, it's just a bicycle. Mm, Why can't bicycle. it be bicycle road? Because it hasn't got eyes. Can we draw eyes on it? I mean, you can draw it on your screen. Okay, I'll do that. That means you have to get to level 9, and I don't think you want to do that. Okay, I won't. Perfect. Um, so My that's going on at the crushed. moment. Um, I'm currently at level 9. Uh, oh, Jesus through fucking Christ. Great, oh, it does look great like pain. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be on level 9 for a while as well because uh, the practical part of my exam is win 10 duels, which is fine. Uh, but then it's also destroy 100 cards. Let's play Unchained. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to play Unchained with Torrential Tribute and just a whole bunch of shit that likes to destroy stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? Arcane of Dark Magician. Sorry to go back to him. Yep. Fuck. Feels like we did Is he leave. a different flavor text? No, nah, it's the same flavor text. They should have different flavor text. But um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Wiki points out it has a resemblance to the Dark Pink uh, Bakura. I can say that. Yeah! I thought Bragg was going to say Dark Penis there. Dark King Bakura. Dark Penis. you got a lot of weird I things thought, on your mind in the moment. I thought ben. I heard Dark P and I was like, where's he going with this? <laughs> Sorry. Lisp. Stutter? Broken Brain? All of the above. Uh, yeah, that's weird. I've never really noticed that before. What do you think he looks like? Don't say mean. Don't say the Pope. Um, some other quality of life changes that they've made in Master at the moment. Um, yeah, I'm moving right the fuck on. Um, so they've made an adjustment to like when you're getting your gems in your daily tasks. Um, when you press receive all, it doesn't take fucking 10 years anymore. When you used to press receive all, it would be like... Putin. Oh, because I was bashing. Like, it went like... Yeah, okay. so, yeah, yeah, so you used to have to issue. click it a lot. Yeah. But now it just goes... Beep, 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 beep. I was bashing and the button wasn't doing anything like, am I crazy? Did, like, I thought I just had to sit here. Right. You know, so it's all good. All right, um, cool. As you noted the other day, um, they've also Sorry, changed the um, activation thingies. Like if you happen to click a card and you didn't mean to activate the effect, it now has an option to go, it don't activate so that. much with Pearly. Yeah. No more accidentally chaining cards out of the hand. Oh, well, you still can if you just... Double back. click. Yeah if, you, <laughs> yeah, if you really fuck it up, yeah, you can. Um... And then, what is this? What is this? No, it's not important. Um, <laughs> so yeah, there's a bit going on in Master at the moment. Um, back to the physical card game, though. You may remember the last week was the uh, Richmond YCS. Uh, so Bragg has very oh. kindly found me the top deck breakdowns. 
Uh, so starting with, I imagine you said them in order? From yeah. From top down? Yeah. yeah. All right, so starting with the top 32, we have 25% Unchained, 13% Tier Element, 13% uh, Ben Dot deck, 10% uh, Labyrinth, 9% Pearly, 6% oh. Sinful Spoils Infer Noble, uh, and then 3 Normal, 3% uh, Normal. Sorry, I didn't realize how scuffed it was. I should have just given you the fucking screen cap of, you know... That's many... fine. Um, so yeah, 3% Normal Infer Noble, 3% Cash, 3% uh, Horus Tier Element, 3% Salad, 3% Manadium, 3% Makungo, Makunko, and then 3% Infer Noble Sinful Spoils Makunko. Makunko. That's Combo Makunko. That's the one that won the YCS. Yeah, which, yeah, like, Combo's the way to play Makunko. Uh, so then we drop down to the top 16. Uh, we've got four Unchained, two Sinful Spoil Infer Noble, two Tier Element, two Bendek, two Pearly, one Lab, one Horus Tier, one Infer Noble, and then the Combo Makunko. Then in the top four, we did have... Did Unchained win? Yeah, it did. You were thinking of a different one, yes. Um... No, no. Combo Makunko won the one in South America. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, then we get to uh, half of top four, having Unchained. Uh, twelve percent. Top, oh, top eight, yeah. Um, and then one sinful spoils in for noble, one horse tier, one pearly, and one rescue ace sinful spoils. And then yeah, the mirror for unchained was the finals with uh, one of them winning. I don't think there was a great deal of variance between their deck lists, other than maybe the dude who won had more hand traps in the main. Yes. Uh... Well, Lord. second, so second still had yeah, second had Nib and Ash, and then Which first you, place had Nib Ash. Ah, no, just Nib, Nib and Ash, yeah. Yep, because Nib was in the main decks. Yeah, Nib good card. Three yeah, imperm. yeah, it's kind of bonkers. They're both playing three imperm. I up my main deck. Oh, they're very similar. They're so similar. Except one has Underworld Goddess and the other didn't. Das. I, I've yet to summon Underworld Goddess in my deck. <laughs> it just never comes up. Both Especially like if you're going second into a board, like you just never have um, that many cards on field to justify ever summoning it. Oh, the per uh, Pearly. Yeah. What about Pearly? No, nothing about Pearly. Okay, I guess we move on. Surprise. Yeah, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> Um, so yeah, moving on to some other news. Um, so we've got some new cards having been announced for the OCG. Uh, these coming from the OCG Promotional Pack 2024. Um, you haven't seen these? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we've got uh, Mira and Machinoko. Uh, so this one... Shinoku. No. Um, so it has two effects. If this card is in your hand, reveal three cards from your hand and or deck with the same name as cards in your opponent's graveyard but different names from each other. And if you do, special summon it. And then when your opponent activates a card or effect, uh, send it, um, if it will summon by its first effect, send it from field to grave. Uh, send one card with the same name as that opponent's card from your deck or extract to the graveyard. And if you do, negate the activation. Brags, touch my feet. Yeah, Brags, we've had like right? three feet touches this pod. Yeah. It's getting... It's getting saucy under this table. Yeah. Not with me, though. I'm here for the news. Well, uh, then we have... Who's other people? He has his there. feet up on his chair. Just one foot. Okay. Uh, and then we have A-Star Speculation, a level 7 white light warrior... F I can't fucking talk today. <laughs> Holy shit. A level 7 light warrior fusion effect monster. Oh, okay. I uh, so it's material... Warrior. Its materials are a monster with 2,500 or more attack and Truck. one face-down defense position monster. Um, it gains its effects based on its battle position. In attack mode, it gains attack equal to the highest original attack monster um, your opponent controls. And then in defense position, cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Uh, you contribute oh. an attack position monster and one face-down defense position monster uh, and then special from the grave. So we got a super poly target for Subterra? Yeah, if they play the big ones, which they rarely do. You can put out the big card. I, I suppose if they've summoned Dragoon and just have um, Thingo face down from yeah. like using Watsy. Yeah. That's cute. Not really relevant. Not but at it's all. It's cute. 
I mean, it might come up. It's not likely, but it might. Who knows? They might release crawler support. Uh, more excitingly, oh well, for other people, I don't. I crawler support? Care. No, no, um, no. This is uh, the reiteration of uh, Child Yugi's cards in the current day. Oh uh, yeah, these cards are great, except they kind of suck. They're terrible. It's adventure, but with no like negate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, give them time, they might get one. But, like, other than that, I really don't see any of this doing anything. Um, so they've got a bunch of main deck monsters that are retrains of the original Yugi monsters like Silent Swordsman, uh, Marshmallow, and Gendor X. They all resolve or uh, revolve around a retrain of Gold, Gold Sarc, Sarc, which yeah. is called Gold Sarcophagus of Light. Um, so can it be destroyed? Like bat. No, bat. Um, so it can't be destroyed by monster effects, the spell card. Um, during the main phase, add a card from your deck to your hand that mentions Gold Sarcophagus of Light, except for itself. Uh, if your opponent special summons a monster or monsters from the graveyard, discard a card, uh, one spell, then target one of those monsters, send it to the graveyard. I think the reason why I don't like this is because it has nothing to do with Gold Sarcophagus. Well, but this is the effect in the, in the show. Well, it's not the, it's not the effect in the show, but it replicates the effect it does. Yeah. Where negate a monster reborn. He's like, you can't have put Slifer in the box, Yugi. He's like, nah, put monster reborn in there, you dickhead. He's like, oh. <laughs> yeah, eat shit at Tem. Spoilers. <laughs> Spoilers for an anime that died so long ago. Um, it didn't die. It has more rewatches than. Due for another rewatch. World Series Poker. I still haven't finished sure. season. I haven't <laughs> finished that. Um, speak. I haven't finished that dark. Um, Bakura arc because we went we put it on during New Year's Eve and it was gone yeah true lost my place in Amazon Prime um and then a bunch of the spell cards and stuff are just like battle phase shit which no one cares about what do you reckon has more views people going on Amazon and watching old Yu-Gi-Oh or reruns of World Series Poker on ESPN has to be Yu-Gi-Oh because I think it's now that I've said it out loud I kind of think it could be close well, why don't you look it up while I find the next bit of news to chat about? Because I don't want to. The this is all on, hypothetical. The marshmallow on retrain is so cute, and it sucks. And it's it sucks that it sucks. Look at him. He's I got glasses. I mean, I, I the hope it comes to this be more gadget support. Than they weren't. Yeah, like all it had to do was just have like one effect that works with gadgets, and it'll be like, oh, yeah, cool. You gave them a little bit of a bone. Nothing. It'd be sick if like when that goes to grave, it adds all three gadgets. Yeah. Which. Probably wouldn't do wouldn't anything. Wouldn't do anything at all. Yeah, but it would just be cool. Yeah. Like all Fireball of... Dragon and Ultimate Offering are not the same. All of this is very bad. Yeah, like, I get what they're going for, and it's a cool idea. Don't do it like this again. Yeah, um, should point out as well, this is all from the next, next main set, which is the main Legacy set? of Destruction. Shit, this is all going to be so high rarity too. But, so we out of Yugi stuff, right? So we've gotten the Gaia retrains... We have to be out of Yugi stuff at this point before they just start re retraining. We haven't got Feral Imp retrains yet. We got King of yeah, the Feral we... Imps, but not a new Feral Imp. Or oh, surely, Fer Warriors, surely but... Feral Imp will just go in the Illusion stuff. Yeah. What about Beaver Warrior? Why was Beaver Warrior not here? Yeah, give us Broken Horn of the Unicorn. Give us Attack the Sun or the Moon. No, give us Attack the Sun. Yeah. <laughs> so We've dealt with the Moon, it's time for the big boys. <laughs> <laughs> Equip only to a giant here. soldier of stone. You win the duel. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, so I mean, they're going to have to go into go back over Joey and Kyber, I guess. Does, does Kyber have vague stuff? They might do something with the viruses. Oh, can they not? Last time they did something with the viruses, <laughs> viruses got banned. <laughs> um, what else is... I mean, he had um, rabid horsemen and stuff. Yeah, yeah. All, all that ring of destruction support that we got. Yeah. So yeah. I know that's what that set was designed around. Legendary collection. Kind of a collection. Yeah, because we got the Loop of Destruction or whatever it was yeah. called. Yeah, and the Fusion Dragon. Yeah, well that was more Bring up Destruction Dragon. nonsense. Yeah, but it gives him his own Tamiasi car. Uh, surely we're out. Let's... Well, let's read... Let's, let's on to GX. Let's retrain some heroes. I think we need to retrain Mystic Lamp. Illusions as well. Come on, give it to me. I mean, it's nearly time for them to circle back to DM and start doing that shit again, surely. Yeah, yeah. it's just going to be re-retrains. 
Legin, the Lord of Dark Illusion. Just it could rework turns as illusions. I mean, yeah, give them another year and they're probably due for toon support as well. Anyway, uh, we have another card been announced for the uh, Zark uh, archetype. This one is the Synchro. Um, so it's Pendulum Effect is Tribute Zark, uh, uh, no, sorry, a Pendulum. Supreme King Gra Dragon or Gate, Pendulum Monster and Special Summon it from the Pendulum Zone. Mm -hmm. um, while it's on the field, it's called Zark. And then ah. after damage calc, when it destroys a monster's opponent's uh, monster by battle uh, and or inflicts damage to them special summon up to two supreme king dragon monsters from your deck extra deck or graveyard in defense i was gonna ask you given how much zark support is coming and zark is a floodgate how do you feel about that well i didn't really consider its uh floodgate-ish effect until after i'd acquired the starlight of arcray um i don't know if i would want to use it for its floodgate effect but if I needed to, I would. Okay. I just want to know where you stand. I stand on the ground. Okay. Oh, it gets his <laughs> uh, We also got a... Uh, I guess it's Salamine Great? Yeah, it is Salamine Great support. Not by name, though. Uh, the Code of Soul. Level 3 Cybers Effect Monster. If you control Link Monster, special summon this card from your hand. During the main phase, uh, activate this effect on once this turn. If you link summon a Salamand Great Link Monster, you can use one Salamand Great Link Monster you control with the same name as it as the entire material. Uh, during your opponent's main phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard immediately after this resolves. Link summon a Link 3 or higher Cybers monster. Okay. Yeah, so it gives them the off turn stuff when they're locked. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's, it's cute. It's good. It's not great. Fine. Okay. Yeah, it, that's that's something that surely they'll play a couple of. Can't go wrong. It's just an extender like everything else. I mean, yeah, it's a level three. <laughs> yeah, like... I mean, you just you just play it. I don't like that Salad's getting stuff. I realize it's year of fire, and you have to give fire stuff, fire stuff. Oh. But like, just stop. Could, but it's the year of fire, Jake. Is year there... of fire's over. Is there any way to? How ask... expensive your bonfire is going to be? So expensive. Bonfire is gonna be like a seventy dollar card. I'm not king for I'm not king for Fire Kings now. I love them. I love the the art, the idea, everything so much. But I'm like, it's just gonna be everything's gonna be in the starter deck except two cards. It's gonna be dinosaurs, but they're chickens. <laughs> okay, um, so so we have our next alternate art also announced for Terminal World. This one is for a card whose name I cannot remember. Uh, the Medallion of the Ice Barrier. I think it's a search card. I honestly don't know. I think it's the draw... It's either the search or the draw. One of them. It's one of those. Uh, so the original art, if you recall, just had like the medallion. It was very basic. Um, it, it said what was on the... On the yeah, it did what, what was, was on the, the tin. Name. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this one, uh, kind of the same, except it also has little women on it. See? It may made it better, Jake. No. No. Bad Ben. Konami I was like, guys, we'll make it better. Here you go. And you, your community was like, Damn, you did it. You did great. Good work. I forgot. You should be ashamed. Excellent work, Jerome. Good I work on approving that. That wasn't Jerome. It's the OCG. It's yeah, some but... fucking horny... Jer no, Jerome's uh, tentacles of influence go far beyond the United States of America. <laughs> tentacles. Yeah. <laughs> Jerome does well. Uh, Jerome speaking, controls the world. Speaking of the OCG, they've announced two new art sleeves that are available, or will be available. Uh, we have one, I can't remember the card art for it. Um, oh, Destined Rivals, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, there's a DM fighting Blue Eyes. Yeah. Looks kind of right. And then we've got the Promethean Princess Ugh. making her product debut because she's a woman, so therefore she gets product. They're really pushing yeah, this card. Yeah, what's with this? Pushing it so hard, because it's the Year of Fire! Are we going to, in February, are we going to get the... the the, not the, just the sleeves. What do you call the folder thingy? Folders. Binders. <laughs> yes. Binders. Yeah. 100%. 100% she'll end up with a binder. And a mate. So And a backpack. When do we get this card? Oh. Uh, it's in Phantom Nightmare. Uh, oh, I thought it was in other stuff. Yeah, I thought it was... Uh... I mean, we got it in Master Duel first. Okay, I thought it was a side product then. Nah. Main oh, set. Wait. Phantom oh. Nightmare's out for them? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I didn't think it was out till like this week. That's why it's all the chicken stuff. Okay. Anywho, um, we also got the next iteration of 
support coming out of Terminal World, which is the Ritual Beast monsters. Ugh, oh, that's it. Spiritual Beast? Spiritual Beast? Isn't it Ritual Beast? Spiritual Beast. Well, it's, you got ritual, the ritual beast. beast and then the Spiritual Beast. Spiritual Beast, beast is the main deck stuff. So we didn't get any spiritual beasts? No, we did. I thought it was the other way around. See, we got spiritual, spiritual beast beast support. Spiritual It's gone to your arm history. Fuck. <laughs> Look oh at God. his history. Oh, God. <laughs> Look at his history. <laughs> You'll never guess what was there. Spiritual beast. Oh. Ritual beast. You know, if, yeah, I, I always thought it was the other way around. Why would there be spiritual in the deck? Yeah. Anyway. I don't like that rituals or fusions in that deck. It always has annoyed me. I hate you. <laughs> Uh, Can so, you play them in um, the Master Jewel Ritual format? No, not a. No, the the old ones. No. Why not? Because they're, rituals. they're fusions. But they're it's rituals. in the name. They're a ritual beast. They're a beast of uh, habit rather than of sacrificing in order to bring Are out. they even beast type? One of them is. Okay, at least it's that. Yeah, I'm I, think, like, I think the big... I'll let it um, slide. Galeo? Is that his Helio? No. Ulti Galibli? Oh. I need you to stop speaking. It's Ulti Guy Helio. Sure, but that's the penguin. That's not the one I'm trying to talk about. Ulti Guy Helio. I know that. I know that. Is Ulti that... Guy Helio is the giant fuck off lion mystic, has sparkles everywhere. No, I'm nearly Ulti, and it's very difficult to discern the <laughs> art. I should don't know what it's called now. It's Ulti Guy Helio! <laughs> it's not going to search it because it has a hyphen. Anywho, let me talk about the support. So, shut the fuck up. So. We've got a level 1 light main deck, Monster. Uh, this one is Lara. Surprise is not fire. Apparently it's the sister of Winda, I think. I don't know. I can't remember what the lore thing was for this. Uh, so you discard it, and then after its effect resolves, normal summon a Ritual Beast monster from your hand. Uh, and then if a Ritual Beast card or card you control be destroyed by battle or card effect, banish this card from your field or graveyard instead. Uh, if this card becomes banished, you can special summon one Ritual Beast monster from your deck except herself. Uh, they also get a new fusion and a new link. Uh, the fusion... Um, Ulti yep. Gaia Pelio. Nah, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> there you got it. Uh, your opponent cannot target other it's ritual beast monsters card. you control with card effects. Uh, and then quick effect, return this card to your extra deck, target one of your banished ritual beast monsters, special summon it, but it cannot attack directly. And then the link for ritual beast, Ulti Ryutari. Um, neither player can tribute cards to activate a card effect. Uh, you can target one of your Banished Ritual Beast cards, return it to the hand or extra deck, then immediately after this effect resolves, normal summon one Ritual Beast monster from your hand. During your opponent's turn... Did you say you... neither player contribute? Neither player contribute. I can't play Rituals with this. No. Nope. Damn! Uh, during your opponent's turn, target a Ritual Beast card you control and a card your opponent controls and banish them. Imagine if they implied that. Like when they came up with that card design, they are like, huh, get it? It's going to floodgate out Rituals. Ritual boost. Um, it's just going for anti infernoid stuff, yeah? That's what it feels like, yeah. Uh, monsters your opponent controls lose 200 attack for each different type among ritual beast monsters you control. Reveal a ritual beast monster in your hand, add a ritual beast monster with a different type from your deck to your hand, then discard one card. If two or more monsters are specially summoned to your field at the same time, target one monster on the field changes battle position. I don't know what relevance that has other than maybe off turn shenanigans, but yeah, that's all there. So they'll get an alternate art. Of something soon, probably Canahawk. Ulti Canahawk. Yeah, Ulti Canahawk. There we go. The Jake one agreed on a name for once. Secret though, isn't it? No, Canahawk was the super. Oh, was Didn't it? they all come out in su secret? I thought. It was, uh, oh yeah. Ulti Garapelio was in the next set. Yeah. Which is why I got the Ulti. Yeah. And an Ultra. Yeah. I know we talked about that bitch last week. Don't need to talk about it again. Good. Um. Oh, we also got the TCG uh, names and stuff and rarities for Valiant Smashes. Um, Were so... they Valiants? Hmm? Were they Valiants? No. Were they Smashes? No. Damn, they lied to us on the box. Yeah, I know. I mean, they lied to us about Amazing Defenders as well. <laughs> Damn it. They should have been called Rescue Amazing Defender. <laughs> Anyway, um, so oh, really Memento nice. has been changed to Mementol or Mementolin, depending on the card. I don't. Is it just so they couldn't get sued? By who? Christopher so Nolan. <laughs> I mean... I haven't seen that movie in ages. No. I've literally heard it mentioned more than I ever have seen it. I've seen it once. It's, it's a painful sit. 
It's a good movie, but it's a painful set. Yeah, because that was very early in the Christopher Nolan days, so like he's literally uh, it, super it? art outy. Because it's the there is no bomb. Yeah, there's no yeah, no bass drops. It's more yeah. bomb or less bomb and more. The dialogue makes sense because his brother wrote it. <laughs> Um, the Centurions are now Centaur Ions. Ugh, just... Alright, whatever. Centaur Ions? Everyone's just gonna say Centurion. Oh yeah, 100%. Uh, and then what's the other archetype again? It's not coming up. Oh, it's the fucking, uh, Valmonica. Harmonica? Valmonica. I always get confused with this deck in Sulfur Chords. I mean, they're similar in that they're both fucking awful. I'm happy that's where the end of that sentence, because I have said, if you're gonna say something different, I was gonna be like, what? They're really bad. They don't do anything. Uh, and that's what's led them to get, like, so few ultra rares in this set. In fact, from what I can see here, they have two. They should have given them all the ultra rares. No, they did the, uh, the other woman deck, VS okay. thing yeah. and gave it all to Centurions, which I, guess I think has seven. that's just the thing they're going to do now. Oh, yeah. Like, it used to be an even spread, and at least the shit decks would have some high rarity stuff. But no. Mm-mm. I still need to pick up the ritual deck. Like, I know there's bad, the food ritual deck. I might just play the master or save myself some money. This is the last product of the year, isn't it? Or you could get it in real life, buy all the max rarity and spend 20 bucks. I could do that. Oh, and then I'd have Hungry Bogar. Hungry Bogar? Hungry Bogar. <laughs> I feel like we've talked a lot on this podcast today, but we've said nothing. Yeah, it's been a lot of words and not much sense. <laughs> I mean, you could, you could go back. And, and I'm holding a back. Lot, a, lot, a lot of our podcasts could be justified as exactly that as well. Um, lastly, we have the uh, forbidden list for English edition in Asia uh, for November 2023. Yeah. And a lot of it is just stuff that you'd expect to be banned. It's called their first banned list. So they were like, "Yeah, here is what should be here. What are the what are the emissions? Um, what, Jake not what product is it? Because <laughs> it's like because Graceful Charity isn't on it, but did they even print Graceful Charity? No idea. Why would they print anything else? Well, would they ban they Graceful to. Charity that early though? Did they we... ban Metamorphosis again. Ban Graceful Charity. I mean, they have the benefit of hindsight now, so they're probably like, yeah, this card's a little bit fucked. How are you summoning a level eight or whatever? <laughs> That's a very sensitive topic for Bragg, clearly. <laughs> I just... <laughs> there needs to be a format somewhere where I can play this! <laughs> yeah, I was about to go... <laughs> yeah, Off to see. Dubai! Oi. I can shower in the airport. Maybe. Why is it that you can shower in all the airports except it's in the airport? I couldn't in... Um... I've been the few that I've gone to, but haven't like the one that has clothes. I'm like, oh, so I just oh, want a shower, man. In saying that, I did go to an airport, oh, to Sydney airport, and there was a shower in one of the bathrooms, and I was like, this could be more of an off-putting, disgusting thing. Yeah, no, nah. yeah, you don't know who's yeah, been yeah. using it before you, so, and for what. Well, it's just, I'm kind of keen. To, yeah, I want to get into here. We go. First few box information announced from BeyondTheJewel.com. Beyond the Jewel. Haven't 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 read the, them in a long time. They used to be pretty on top of it. Then I just now you just go to the organisation. Uh, not even just Twitter or whatever it's called now. Um, yeah, so it's those two decks and Creation Pack One releasing Creation? November twenty fifth. Oh, so they don't have the pack yet. So why are they being so those those the stuff on that ban list must be hangovers from the previous Asian English release that they just had put they out. They just left it alone, yeah. That they had They they did do a lot of the base set in yeah. Asian English, yeah. Yeah, so they But there's just some cards missing off that list, which I guess weren't printed because they should be on that ban list, or else they're gonna have a crack format. But there's no way that it's gonna be a crack format. I think there was a time that I had the full gate guardian package in Asian English. Didn't even realise it was ancient English until I took it out of the sleeves and I was like, oh, I've traded for it already. Oh well. <laughs> so their first mate so the set's basically a reworking of Jewelist Nexus with a whole bunch of stuff. With Runix. That's so weird, because like So they're gonna put the extra Runix in there, I so guess. So is there not just like a massive gap of like base set Duelist Nexus? Like just years of shit they've never seen. Well there seen? has to be a bit more than base set if they're pumping up that ban list. But that's the thing, it's all just like the 
base stuff. Like it's just the basic shit. I should have. Uh, well, I should have. There's no need to ban any of shit in the middle. Well, Look, if you don't have it, yeah, you don't need to ban it. <laughs> what are they gonna do? Summon some dragon rulers? Another segment of I should, just a bunch of words. Yes. I apologize. I should have researched before I opened my mouth. Well, who does that? No. Anyway, um, so we move on to our Discord. If you weren't aware, the link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi. Uh, first thing to discuss on the Discord is that we have an update to the end of year ban list tourney. Um, so hey. again, if you hadn't heard about this, uh, we are doing a tournament at the end of this year. Uh, it's uh, all for a good cause for Beyond Blue. Um, did you want to take it from here? No, I don't know what the update is. So continue. You discussed it. You told me about it. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to say he hasn't heard of it. <laughs> just the, the couple of cuts. So, um, so yeah, it'll be held on December fifteenth and seventeenth and nineteenth. Seventeenth and nineteenth. Uh, here in the Wollongong Good Games. So if you happen to be in the area, you're welcome to come down. Um, otherwise, we will be putting up profiles and replays and stuff like that. Um, link to donate will be in our Discord as well as Nolan TCG's Discord. So it's five dollars to move a card uh, one space, ten dollars to move a more than one space. Cards that have been moved can't be moved again. Um, and yeah, it all falls on to the 30th of this month. I should really make a post on my community tab. Yes. Yes, you should. And you should have already. I, I got that prepared today and I don't think I hit post. Ah, okay. Um, so yeah, we Oops. do have an update to that. So um, there's a whole bunch of stuff that got um, done in the last couple of weeks. The most recent updates are Thunder Dragon Colossus and Level Leader have been unlimited. So, someone's planning some cooked shit. I do want to mess around with Live Leader. Yeah, getting a free Link 4 off a random level 9. Didn't it's it's going to eat up so much of your extra space. Yeah, depending on the deck, it might not matter. Because you do like 1, 2, 3, 4. Also, access good to me. Yeah, I, I got to that real quick. It's, it's like, what are they going to do? Summon nothing else? I mean, yeah, it's, like I said, you summon Appaloosa for free, not access code. Is it Earth or Dark? Uh, I think it's Dark. That could, that could cause some shenanigans against other decks. Let's have... Where you can, look. like, Dark... Yeah, take. Dark and level 1 insect. Merly's still legal, so you can... If they use the Merly, you can make a Dark the Dark Charmer, some back there Merly, Merly Mill a couple of cards. Summon level leader back. I'm just thinking how you can get to that place without having to use too many things out of your extra deck. Uh, so yeah, um, feel free to jump in and make some donations. Uh, as much as I hate it, I do want to see some cooked shit happen uh, when it happens. And again, if you happen to be anywhere near us, we'd love to see that. Uh, we also have some questions. Uh, first question this week. I had it and then I lost it because I changed my page. Oh god, I pressed the wrong button. Just go into that history of yours, Jake. Mm -mm. I saw that. I saw what you have done. How dare you try and send a gift basket to your room? Absolutely you should have told not. me. Yeah. Have like five gift yes, basket, gift baskets. He deserves gift baskets. Of pain. This is the most I've <laughs> ever said gift baskets in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I think I had maybe said it like twice in my life until now. I mean, in fairness, in that sentence, you probably only still said it twice because you, st you stumbled on a few of them. Good brother. First question this week comes to us from Arch, again. Uh, opening rarity collection is the m so much fun. I mm. generally don't care what I pull because the excitement mm. we have checking out all the rarities is awesome. Do you guys think that this experience can be replicated by Konami? This set went crazy because there were so many cool, long-awaited reprints plus rarities we had never seen. Would a rarity set too hit as hard if it was done too often? with the same rarities. So, uh, this is how I felt opening the Raya, uh, Raya Yellow Mega Pack way back when, where it was a whole bunch of rarity upgrades, uh, stuff that needed reprint, like it was it was a good set. And then they didn't do anything like it for a while. You mean so. they didn't do Slife of Red Mega Pack? Well, that was meant to be the- um, Obelisk Blue Mega Pack? Because they did... Slifer was the basis of the Legendary Collection thingy. Then they did the pack, and then they just didn't do anything for Obelisk. I'm like, that's weird, everyone wants Obelisk, but that's not the end of that. Uh, yeah, they're not going to... They might do a Rarity Collection too. The one does imply the two, I think you said it. 
Um, yeah, it was um, like RC01 or whatever. But I wouldn't get your hopes up. Like, I can see them doing it again. Um, but if the OCG is anything to go by, because they've been doing this every year for the past like seven years. Yeah. Um, typically, they drop off in quality. Mm. So, yeah. Um, we just kind of got lucky around because they had been so long since the OCG had reprinted a bunch of stuff that when they did effectively this set, they were like, yep, let's put Ash in there, let's put this, let's put that. And when we just straight ported it, it was quite a nice set because it had all of these new things that had been around for a while and cards that had come out post-COVID that really needed a reprint. Yeah, like Ice um, Barrier. Like Ice Barrier. That card searches a water. It does. And Foolish is a water. You can add back the card you Foolish, yeah? Yes. See, it searches a water. But Mrs. Timing is a bit... Has a, yeah, anyway. Um, so I do think they will do it again, but the quality won't be there. When the OCG gets their rarity collection announced for next year, look at it, because it's probably what we're going to get. I, I think they could capitalise just doing as booster packs and stuff. Like, I mean, I don't mind buying a box, but obviously it's a bit steep. They could go a bit like the limited release Pokemon sets where they do an ETB of it as well, or like other little promo sets. They have. There's uh, a three pack. Kind oh, of. for rarity collection. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, like that's the stuff yeah. they need to have for, have out for the holidays, and yeah. then just print the money. Yeah. There is a three pack mini. Oh, sweet. Display that's on its way. Awesome. North like, American stores have already received them. In the particular case, we eventually we'll get them. Yeah, because like that's the type of stuff which keeps your game well funded. Because yeah. yeah, and as you said, like those pulls are pretty fun. To get like it does feel nice that you can open a pack and like most of the time you're going to hit something that looks decent. Just hurts from how expensive it is. That's yeah. the biggest hurdle is the expense. And that's why but being that you're them. buying them for your son and your son's probably cracking most of the packs, he's probably having a ball. <laughs> Are they Norfies? Excuse me. Are they Norfies? Are they from the North? Remember. Remember when we first... This is, I'm making an old callback, and you don't watch the podcast, Jake, so you don't heard the podcast, and you don't know the callback. My brain's too fried for this. It's a callback from like seven months ago when I referred to a bunch of people in the Northies. You refer to people as a lot of things, Ben, both on and off the podcast. I care not to repeat them. It does um, seem familiar, though. So, yeah, North America. Packs cheap. Uh, so get that here. So, um... I pulled a, um... I, I just one pack rarity collection got a not collector baron ulti baron I'm like yeah. well you wouldn't be able to do that with any other set I so I got my last ulti effect trailer today I was quite happy at that what did I get today yes, I got uh, collector's red non sassy lord and ultra sassy lord uh, and uh, another quarter century um, book of uh, spell book of judgment I've got my set of Super Prosps. I have ordered a set of uh, of this in the 25th. Has that still not arrived? No, I don't care when it arrives though. I am I'm not overly tired to, uh, to getting this. Well, it's a release event. What um, happens first, the next release event or you receiving it? I couldn't care. <laughs> Um, so yeah, to summarise, they may well do something like this again, but a lot like Battles of Legend, I feel like they'll just keep making it a little bit worse each time. Yes. They better. Like, every... No, every year it should be. Or they, or they just keep printing this one. Make the set better, do multiple print runs. No, but no one wants to pull unlimited cards. Just lie. Yeah, unlimited sets have not done too well since they took out the special eds. Like, when they had the special edition packs, you could at least get a promo of something. Like, it was either an upgrade of a card coming or something that, like, just needed a sort of printing in, like, a nicer rarity. Yeah. Whereas now they've just done unlimited boxes of a couple of things. It just hasn't hit the same. No, it... Like, people bought into Toon Chaos, but it didn't have the same resale value. And then the only other one that they've done of late was been Power of the Elements. And even then, they banned half the shit in there that made anything good in it. So it's like, eh. Look, Rarity Collection was good, but it was no Amazing Defenders. It was no Amazing Defenders. We'll have to start. That set was amazing. It was very defensive, though, as you got on to before. Well, Noir sits in defense. Yeah. Yeah. Turbulence summons in defense. <laughs> Makanko's... Attack in defense? <laughs> 
Anyway, uh, next couple of questions come to us from 6 r 6 uh, Do you think the 25th anniversary collection will hold value or just specific cards? It won't hold value. People are going to open so much of that shit that it's... It, just for context. So, from my experience, I pulled an ulti uh, Savage from my box. I was like, I'm going to list this. Pre-orders for this were $80. I went to list it. It was $30. I was like, mm, that's a big drop. That's a yeah. big, big drop right there. Yeah, I went to list um, the collector's uh, prosp. And it was just like, no. I pulled a secret prosp today. And it's like, oh, this isn't even worth the eBay, eBay fee. No, so my thoughts on this is that stuff's like sort of like a bit fluctuating, but generally on the lower side at the moment because people still have the perception that like more will be pulled. But the second the boxes stop opening, yeah. the stuff that's good, the ash blossoms, the prosps of like different rarities and stuff, they will they start will to go up again. slowly move. Because I'm assuming a lot of the stuff just isn't getting reprinted for a while. Yeah, we're not going to see another Ash print for ages. Same with Prosp, it same with Lightning that. Storm, Triple Tack, evenly matched. Sure, it's the Fire King, King deck. <laughs> oh, we, already, we know the contents of the Fire King deck, don't we? Do we get Ash in that? Yeah, it, didn't, it wasn't in the... Um, well, I mean, you said it in the pod a few weeks ago. Wasn't it at that um, weird toy festival convention? Uh, yeah, Fire I think King. it was. Uh, but I don't remember looking at what was in it because I don't care about Fire Kings. Well, Brag Searchers, what's the next question? Next question is, what is your favourite arcade game or style of arcade game to play? Ooh. What did I do a lot in Japan? Oh, that Pokemon. That... It's not Dance Dance Revolution, despite the fact that when I'm really drunk, that's all I want to do. I have noticed really? I'm fucking horrible at Dance Dance Revolution. <laughs> Why have I said no so many times? Bro, I would be impressed <laughs> if I scored one point. Could we not could we not do a version uh, of that here? Nah, I want to go... Oh, with like, those stupid fucking floor mats? The arcade <laughs> in Sydney that's open till like 2am. Yeah. Whenever I'm in town drinking, I'm like, I've got to go there. Despite the fact that I cannot play Dance Dance Revolution when uh, I'm sober. I want to see it so much. I feel like you'd be a baby giraffe on it, just like legs flailing like, everywhere. But, oh, half the issue is like... Because I don't have a hamstring on one leg, I cramp, like, immediately. And I start, and I'm like, oh, I'm done. So, do we have an Ash Blossom? No, it's Droll and Lock. Droll and Lock. Oh, yes, <laughs> that famous fire monster. <laughs> um, but it's a level one, it's searchable. No, I was going to say, I feel like you're lying. I mean, it is searchable if you use oh. that bad card. It is searchable in Flunderies. Flunder? Oh, it, it is. is. It says in the title, Bird. <laughs> yeah, but that's not what birds search. Good call. Birds don't search birds. Birds search winged beasts. The real bird corner is the it corner counts. you sit in alone when you've been roll locked. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, that's so good. What was the arcade game that I like? I can't Dance remember. Dance Dance Revolution. No, you guys go. Oh, Virtual Darts. Virtual Darts? Really? Yeah. Huh. Me and Tom played Virtual Darts for like five hours. Because it wasn't very expensive. I'd, I'd hope not. It was like a buck a play. Is it still play just like, like you're doing that with your hand with nothing in it? Uh, you don't. You just have darts, but they're not real darts. Yeah, okay. That yeah. That's fine. I thought it was like literally you put on a VR headset and no, it just no, tracks no, no, your no. hand. So I was like, that is the most piss poor fucking game. The dartboards are like designed to like track where things go and you just like Whoa. yeah so it's like the virtual golf things like you still I hit know. a ball kind of thing yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah okay. rip the screen <laughs> I've seen Holy so many shit. of those I was yeah, gonna, been going for yeah I was gonna while. I was gonna have it, I had an anecdote for this question but I'll just I'll just type it up in the discord cause it's at least say a quick answer uh, it's not that the, that's the stupid Pokemon one with the chips where I've got the Mr. Ah. Rhyme chip over there if anyone wants a Mr. Rhyme chip put your home address <laughs> <laughs> We're slowly just getting I've, rid I've of all the shit too. in this apartment. I've got to send um, it. Yeah, for clarity, someone second. has claimed the ice barrier. Uh, on the Discord, so, on the yeah. Discord, yeah? So, please. so I've missed it. Jesse also claimed it, so I'm going to send two. You, guys, you have oh, two? okay. I'm going to just buy another. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, because yeah, there was They're one like of the... Two yeah. bucks, I'm going to yeah. buy another and ship that. So entries for the ice barrier giveaway have now closed, but they are now open for Mr. Rhyme uh, token giveaway. Yeah. So you first person to comment... token? First oh, person to comment... <laughs> Uh, we're gonna end up sending Jesse so much no. shit because he's always the first one to start listening. Look, you can put your home address, but the method uh, the method of delivery would be me throwing it out a window and hoping I hit your house. So he can throw pretty far. 
I, I, look, if that chip stays, if, if no one takes it or fucks it or puts it in the bin, I'm gonna peg it so well. <laughs> just, just begging for it. Uh, um, oh, we'll put this question on next week. Well, um, to round out this question, wait. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, to round out this question, I always used to, like, I like ski ball. That's a, that's a one I like to go to, yeah. uh, even though I'm not particularly good at it. But the one that I always have to go to is like the, the lolly scoop machines. Why? So I like lollies. There was one day where I got weirdly hooked on the like Wizard of Oz game where you push the button and it shoots the coin in. And the goal is to push the coins off the edge. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've, I went deep on one of those I, once too. One day I just spent like 20 bucks on it. I just sat there just going... It's like tipping point, but without a British dude giving you obvious questions. <laughs> well, Logan was there, so... <laughs> yeah. It was kind of the same. Uh, and then last question this week is, what is your favourite party food? It's fairy bread. Legitimately? It's fairy bread. Do you want to make fairy bread when we're over here? Look up fairy bread if you don't know. Because I can't it. make fairy bread. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, preface the part where I can't make it with the part where I don't want to go by hundreds of thousands. Ah, okay. Yep, you definitely can't make it. Brag. Uh, I don't know. Part like party food, man. This is pies. Who are you kidding? I remember Jesse's birthday like two years ago. Wait, he, like, where he ate the pie in the box? Wait. The way he made a big plate of fairy bread and no one was eating it, so I just sat there and kept eating it and his sister was just looking at me like, what are you doing? I was like, oh, oh I do. Oh. Yeah, it's you and your... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just shoveling fairy bread in my mouth. She's just looking at me like, "Yeah, it wasn't your best display." Sure. Not gonna lie. Oh. Oh. I did notice that when oh. we were at um, Jesse's party this year, he did not have fairy bread out, <laughs> so he didn't want you making. Where's the fairy bread? <laughs> Instead, I decided to. I don't know. You know what? It... No. Is fairy bread <laughs> in the ritual? Is it? It's, yeah, it should be. Oh, it's a fairy. fairy. Is fairy bread? In it? No, no. That's the upcoming support. Um, mine sport. is the little mini sausage rolls. The bases don't mean sausage rolls. Ah, uh, look, it's if it's like a party. It depends on how I'm going at the party. Because if I'm going hard, there's no there's no. My favorite party. food is gin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, like your pies, your spring rolls, your your little your little. Oh, I, I do like a like a mini spring roll. Yeah, it's just something about like the mini that's like just the perfect ratio. I don't like the fat ones. I just remember what I didn't buy from the shops. I was meant to buy spring roll. No, I was meant to buy lettuce and tomato, and I didn't. Fuck. Oh no, you're only having B for dinner. <laughs> if it's small enough for me to shelve a couple before I can take one Sorry? back. Yeah, you also have the same thought. <laughs> I'm going to need you to start that sentence again. <laughs> and then I get back to the... Um, the you haven't started again! <laughs> I'm not starting again, I know what I said. Uh, and then, yeah, and then you get back to your company where you're like, yes, I only have one spring roll inside me. <laughs> <laughs> We're done. Bye. <laughs>